artists. My name is Miss Kane and I'm the art teacher at Creekside Elementary. I know a lot of you had Miss Wall last year at Richland and I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself to my new second graders. I cannot wait to meet you in person. Today we are going to create a soup can drawing inspired by the art of Andy Warhol. Our I can statement is I can extend skills by individually following sequential steps to create works of art on subjects that are real or imaginary. And Andy Warhol was a pop artist, which means that he used things from pop culture to create art. Um, this is a two-day project, so for the first day we're going to get about this far and do our drawing of our soup cans. And our goal is to have four 3D cylinder forms that we turn into cans. So first we're going to talk about Andy Warhol and we'll get started. Andy Warhol was an American artist and a leader in the pop art movement in the 1960s. His work explored the relationship between art, advertising, and celebrity. Pop art often features subjects from pop culture. Pop art also contains bright pops of color. His work is so popular that there's an entire museum in his hometown of Pittsburgh dedicated to exhibiting his work called the Andy Warhol Museum. It's the largest museum in the U.S. dedicated to one artist. We're going to look at his Campbell's Soup art as our inspiration for our project today. Remember that we're going to draw four cylinders and turn them into soup cans. You can see that he used different color schemes and different color families to create his soup cans to give them pops of color. And these are an item from pop culture. For our project today, you're going to need three different supplies. You need a white sheet of paper, a pencil, and a black marker. I think that a washable marker or a permanent marker is okay. Just make sure it's not an Expo marker like you use on a dry erase board because that will dry your marker out. So we're going to try a washable marker or a permanent marker. Pencil and paper. Let's get started. All right. I'm going to start with my paper vertical or tall ways and the first thing that I'm going to do is take the sides and I'm going to fold it in half so that it's tall. Some teachers call this a hot dog fold because it's tall and skinny or long and skinny like a hot dog. So you're going to fold it holding it vertical and fold one, the left side over the right side. And then while it's tall you're going to take the top and pull it to the bottom and then press it flat. And it's okay if it's not perfectly folded. We're just trying to make four quadrants to have four equal sections. So I have one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to draw a cylinder form in each of these four sections. So I'm going to start with an oval. And I want it to be so wide that it comes near the edge of my paper and the fold of my paper. And then I'll add a smaller oval inside of it. A line on the left side and on the right side that comes so far down they almost touch the bottom of my paper. And then I'm going to curve down and back up, kind of like a smile instead of coming straight across. So it curves down and back up. I'm going to add a circle shape in the middle and a line on the right, line on the left. And it kind of looks like a Pokemon ball to me, so I've been calling it a Poke Can. Okay, so I have one 3D cylinder and I need to draw three more so that I have four. So I'm going to draw an oval. Remember, it's so wide, it goes near the side of the paper and the fold with an oval inside of it. A line on the left, a line on the right, and a curved line at the bottom. I need a circle in the center, a line on the right, a line on the left. So now I have two. I need two more. Big oval, little oval, line on the left, line on the right, and these come near the bottom of my paper. I'm going to curve at the bottom, circle, line, line. Okay, and then I need one more. So I have an oval, oval, line, line, 
curve, circle, line, line. Good job. Now we're going to talk about the words that need to go on our can in just a moment. Okay, so we're going to look at some images of his soup can art. This first word at the top half, that's Campbell's. That's who made the soup. And the bottom half tells us what kind of soup it is. It's tomato soup. And in all of these examples, these are all Campbell's tomato soup. When you're labeling your soup can on your cylinder, you could write Campbell's if you wanted to, or you could write your own name. Um, it's just telling you who made the soup. And it doesn't matter to me who made it. So if you want to do your name, your friend, your mom and your dad, that's fine. If you want to do Campbell's and all of them, that's fine. I'm going to do my name because it's Miss Coon. And I'm just going to do Coons. And I need an apostrophe S because it's possessive. Coons, and you could write in cursive or bubble letters or print, whatever lettering you would like is fine. And then I need to decide what kind of soup it is. And I could do tomato soup on all of them, or I could make them all different. I could have chicken noodle soup, vegetable soup, or I can make up my own soup. So I think I'm going to make up jelly bean soup. And I'm going to write jelly bean in cursive and soup in bubble letters. But you can do any lettering you would like. If you just want to write it in your normal handwriting, that is fine. Or you can do fancy letters. It's up to you. This is your creation. So all of mine are Coons jelly bean. Okay, so now I have four cylinders that I've turned into soup cans and I've labeled them with a brand. And so my next step is going to be to find my black marker. I've already set it somewhere. My black marker, remember it can be washable or permanent, we just don't want to use an expo marker. And I need to outline, which means I'm going over my pencil lines with a black line and it looks something like this when it's finished so that it looks like you drew and wrote with a marker. But I'm really using a pencil first and then a marker. So I'd go over my words and over my drawing. And I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it so slowly. I cannot wait to see what you create. Um, for today we should have our four cylinders drawn that are inspired by the pop art of Andy Warhol. You created who soup it is and what type of soup it is and you divided your paper into four sections. We're going to work on adding color next week. You can share photos of what you've created so far on Instagram at Coon Art Room or you can email them to Miss Coon at amkuhn at auburnschools.org. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about our artist Andy Warhol, there's this book, Uncle Andy. It's written by James Warholia. James is Uncle Andy's nephew, or Andy Warhol's nephew. And I have a video of myself reading this book shared on Schoology, and you can also look it up on YouTube or check it out from the library. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye!